Y'all know what I realized? I'm going to need space with all of these supplies. So I'm going to do this on my crafting table. Here's the binder video, kings and queens. So um, these are the items that I'm using. I narrowed it down to just these. <laughs> now I'm going to give you a tip. When you make it your own, we tend to use it more. And also, um, we'll go to it more when we make it our own. So let's just jump right into this. I'll briefly tell you where I got everything and how you can save some money. This binder, the, the binder is going to be the most expensive thing. I picked this up at Walmart. Get the biggest binder you, you have because you want to try to make it all be into one. Whole mental thing today, if you can. Um, the biggest one I saw at Walmart was the three inch. If they had a bigger one, I would have got it. Basically, the inch I want to have the biggest rings I could possibly have so everything could fit inside. And Dollar Tree, if you saw some of my previous hauls, Dollar Tree now has in the actual folders that you could put in there that has the dividers already in it. So you don't have to buy separate dividers for each folder. If you go to the Dollar Tree, they already have it in there for you. So I'm going to add these three. And they have them in different colors. So these three are going into the binder. Okay. Now, this is a three-hole punch. Dollar Tree has this now, too. <laughs> I put that in um one of my Dollar Tree hauls. I think it was the last one. Instead of buying that little clicky one that you got to click, make sure it's lined up, it's not lined up. You got to, nope, just go on and get the three ring. If you don't find these at the Dollar Tree, you can pick them up at Office Depot and also Walmart and a few other places. Office Depot always have them. Theirs are just more expensive for the same thing. Um, stickers, make it your own. Pick these up at the Dollar Tree. Now, tip, get you some stickers that's going to help you with self-care. Because I told you I'm getting my life organized to the T with a fine freaking toothpick. With a fine toothpick. This binder is going to be my life binder. With travel, health, fitness, everything. Love, recipes. Well, I got a separate binder for recipes, but y'all get what I'm saying. Um, put you something on here for positive reinforce, positive reinforcement and motivation. It's a whole mental psychology to that. When I start a new page, I get into the psychology of it with my background. So yeah, get y'all some stickers, okay? Glitter paper. I think I'm going to put this in here because I want to make it pretty so I could go to it more. Take this out. And this glitter paper, it'll probably take me two different sheets of paper to go inside of here. So, so I think that's how I'm going to have the, um, the cover with the glitter. And I might do some letters or something. My handwriting is not the best, so I also have these stencils that I have from the Dollar Tree. They have several different stencils that I have, but I just chose to use these because these work so well. Even when I used to teach, I just swear by these. So if you don't have the best handwriting or you just want your letters to be all aligned the same way, the same style, pick you up some. They only a dollar. Okay. And these glitter papers, you get three sheets in each pack. I think I'll need two. Yeah, I'll need two. Because this binder is so big. Uh, I might fast four portions of this. Just so I won't bore y'all to death. But this part is just to give you an idea. How we can make it our own. This also help with y'all kids. <laughs> because I know this is like a personal care thing. But this help with your kids. Do like a project with your kids. 
It'll help them go to that binder more. It'll jog their memory for homework time and study time. It's a whole psychology to it. They'll love it. See, you can't see where it start or stop. So that's going to be, oh, I see it right there. But so what? That's pretty. That'll be my starter for the front cover. And let me move this stuff out the way here. Now, let's get into the meat of this. I also have tons of glue sticks, different kinds, Dollar Tree and Walmart. Uh, one of them came from Office Depot. Um, now, you got to have you a calendar in here. You got to have you a calendar. I have a personal calendar from my last vlog, but it won't fit in here because it's like a big, very detailed, and it doesn't have the holes. But just for your binder, these you can pick up at the Dollar Tree. Okay. Pick these up at the Dollar Tree, and they have them for all different years and everything. And it comes in a little sleeve. So you can either make holes with the hole puncher, or you can keep them in this sleeve and add them to the um, binder now this is going to go i think second i have like some motivational in here and then this right on top so this will be on top of here pick this up at the dollar tree now this is not the best buy because the glitter fall off i had this for years but the glitter fall off is not the best see so i would advise you to Pay a couple extra dollars if you want this glitter look and pick up um pick it up somewhere else. But if you don't want the glitter look, get the solid one from the Dollar Tree. And this to match my aesthetic. Okay. So I could have my markers, pens, highlighters, red markers, fine tooth, all the stuff that I'll need at my fingertips. Because when it's at your fingertips, you're more bound to use it. And I just got all different kind of uh, glitter pen, gel, whatever. You get it. You know, it'll be in there. Now, I don't know where I put my calculator. I have one of those, you know, the old school nerd pocket calculators that had the um, holes already in there. That's going in there because you got to keep the finances together. Oh, where is it? Where is it? I'll add that later to show y'all. And it already had a hose, y'all. So, yeah, I went old school with that. The people I knew who had those back in the day, they always had some money. They always had that calculator. Like my dad, he used to always have that. I'm like, I used to be looking like, why you got that? I see now. <laughs> oh, let me see if I can find it, kings and queens. I found this, see, the holes, but y'all know back in the day, there's a really big, this is just a smaller version, old school, but ha, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I would definitely put that. It'll probably be right on top. All right, let's get into it. Now, I went to Dollar Tree first, then I went to Walmart. I'm not about to be spending a lot of money on no doggone stuff like this that I know I can get for a fraction of the price. Now, I tried to have only the ones. I didn't want to get duplicate colors. I knew I was going to need several of these. So, I went at different times, so I did end up getting some duplicate colors. That's where your glitter paper comes in. I have more of this glitter paper because I have two oranges. So one glitter paper, I'm going to do a small DIY. I'll probably speed it up really, really quickly with my glue stick to make that different. I think I'll use the pink one or something. I didn't pull it out. So this one is going to go on the side for right now. And we're going to, the nicer ones are going up top. You want to jog your, prime your brain for nicer things. These are the nicer ones from, I think I got this from Office. Office Depot or Walmart had a good sale at a time. So I got these for a dollar. The same price as the Dollar Tree ones. I, 
What you're looking for are the ones with holes in them. I made a mistake and picked up this one at Walmart without the holes. But that's what I have my three ring punch for. That's the only one without the holes. So first I had to decide how I'm going to set it up. Pink is my favorite color. That's one on top. I think this blue is absolutely amazing. That'll be next. Hey, let's just keep with the theme here. Let's get some kind of order. So I'll have pink, pink, dark pink, light pink, light blue, blue, navy blue. But I might not use this one, kings and queens, if I don't have to, because if I don't have to, I don't, I know I have some extras. I'm not doing extra work if I don't need to. So light blue, dark blue, black means power black in business anybody who on their own business or stock markets anything y'all know when your business is in the black that's a good thing they make black so negative but in business black is good if your business is in the red is bad if it's in the black is good so this is going to be at the very back it really should be in the front later on i'll change that around when i have my business back up fully running so i'm not going to be using it as much so it'll be in the back until it moves to the front green earth nature all natural products all natural stuff some of my vegan uh, vegetarian insights natural stuff on my skin skin care people i support businesses and stuff that's what the green is going to represent for me That'll go there. And I'll put the orange here. These two eventually will be in the front, so I'm not vegetarian anymore, but I still have vegetarian days to clean my system out. I'm going to um, speed this up. And get into it. So as you all can see, everything couldn't fit because it's a three inch. That's why I said earlier, if they had a bigger one, I would have got a bigger one um, because I still want it to be easy enough where I could flip it and go straight to it. That's the whole point of being organized. So um, I omitted, you all saw the ones that I omitted. I'll be giving that to my nieces for their school stuff. And... The only thing I don't even have to do the DIY with these, thank goodness. Now, this, I still have room to put in here, but will it make it too bulky? Uh, actually not. Okay. So that'll still work. Let's just figure it out here. Or I could just put it on the side. Let's see. What y'all think, Kings and Queens? Just put it on the side. It has the extra pocket. I might as well utilize it. Yep. So that will go right on the side. Okay. Like that. Then I still have this extra pocket in the back that I could utilize if I need to. Now, just because I have extra space don't mean I necessarily have to fill it up. Okay. So... This here video is already getting too long. So I don't know if I'm going to continue it here or just make a part two. 
Because I still got to get into letting you all know um, how I'm going to set up each one. Okay. The only thing I think I will show you all, because I'm about to make some drastic changes in my life, is, um, or at least for this portion, this part of the calendar. So we are now in November. I think this video will be up in November, because right now it's the mid part of November. So the good thing about these two, they had the lines you could just pull them right off. And I'm all about recycling, so I'll be using this as some scrap paper just to write on. So actually, in the back here, this can be scrap paper. So when I have an idea and I don't know what category I'm going to put it in, I just have some scrap paper to write on. And that's what could go on the back. It's called brain dumping. When you get all those ideas and, and you just want to write it down and you don't know which where it should go, you brain dump on this and then later on, organize it, put it where it needs to be. So that's a good way for that. Now, November, right? Let's see what stickers I pulled out the stash. <laughs> this is funny. The first one I see is slow down. Because I've been on a ziggity boom. I have some goals I'm trying to get to. Relax. Whew. Baby. I plan on relaxing really, really soon. Trust me. Like it was summertime again. Self-care. I got to take some time for self-care. Sometimes you do everything for everybody. Don't realize you didn't have time for yourself. So I'm definitely going to do that. So let's just make, let's just start it off here. Let's just make a, um, a self-care day. I'm going to have that on, I think I'm going to do that on the last Sunday. Yeah, let's do a self-care day. I don't think I want that self-care, though. I think I'm going to make that into a... <laughs> I have some stickers that say wine. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a wine day. That's going to be on that Saturday. See, they had a little wine bottle here. Let me see if you all can see that. Focus. It has a little wine bottle. That's going to be on the last Saturday of this month. So I got to have some, I got to have some me time. That's going to be the day, my wine day, drink my wine. <laughs> then I'm going to be doing all that fun. So then I got to follow it up on that Sunday with a self-care day. Skin routine, fix my hair, bubble baths, and drinking my water, rejuvenating, hydrating all day after that wine day. Just to give you all a little tip, like, share, and subscribe. Remember, when you become blessed, bless somebody else. Enjoy this beautiful life we are given. I love you kings and queens. If this is not the last clip, remember, like. Share and subscribe, tap the notification bell twice so you will not miss any time I upload new videos. I love you. And remember, do something for yourself and do something for somebody else. Have a great day. Mwah.